I'm a firm believer that the easier something is to do, the more likely it is to get done. So in this video, I'll show you everything that it takes to set up the Citra emulator and play 3DS games on your Android device in just minutes. Grab the micro SD card from your Android device because we're about to supercharge your gameplay experience. All the steps to get you underway are included, and we're starting now. The easiest way to make this a one-stop swap is to start from your computer by putting your SD card from your Android device directly into your PC. On the root of the micro SD card, select an empty space, right click, pick new, and folder. Name that folder ROMS, R-O-M-S. Once that's done, navigate to the location on your computer where you store your 3DS format games. They need to be in .3DS format. I just use the music folder as I don't store music on this machine. Copy your .3DS format games, go to the ROMS folder you created on your micro SD card, and paste your .3DS extension games right here. That is absolutely all you have to do with your micro SD card. You can remove it from your computer, put it in your Android device, and power on your Android device. From your Android home screen, navigate to Google Play and launch it. Tap on the search bar, and inside search, look for Citra, C-I-T-R-A. This is the emulator for 3DS on Android. Once it comes up, select Citra by tapping on it. From the Citra app page, just tap on the install button on the right side in order to install it to your device. Once the install is complete, I'd recommend closing out Google Play first just to take it out of your RAM so that you don't use up that extra memory because it's precious and you're going to need it for Citra. Now that it's installed, go ahead and launch Citra for the first time. Tap on it and you'll be taken to this dialog box and it's important. It tells you to make sure you have your games already set up on storage before you run the emulator. See, now you see why we did that first and then downloaded the emulator. One stop swap. Tap the OK button and you'll get a dialog box asking for permission for Citra to access your storage. Tell it allow. You'll be prompted to select the location where your ROM files are stored. It defaults to internal storage, but we've put your ROMs on a separate micro SD card. To access your micro SD storage, tap on the top folder that has the two dots next to it. See that folder that has the alphanumeric characters in the dash in the middle? That's your micro SD storage. Tap that and scroll down and you'll see the ROMs folder. Tap the ROMs folder and at the bottom, tap select this directory. Let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room here. How well does my device work with Citra? After deep contemplation in this matter, I came up with this answer. It depends. You see, Citra requires a 64-bit Android version 8 or higher, and it also requires OpenGL support. And the folks that created Citra recommend running it on a Snapdragon 835 processor or higher. So the more snap you've got in your Dragon, the better performance you'll get. Back at the Citra interface, you'll find a list of the ROMs from the ROM folder directory that you chose earlier. In this case, Mario Party The Top 100. Tap on the game you want to play to launch it, and Citra will prompt you to allow audio recordings. This is optional, but recommended. Tap on your selection, and the emulator will launch. Depending upon how you were holding your device when you launched Citra, it will either display in landscape mode, or if you oriented your device in portrait mode when you launched Citra, it will show it in a more traditional 3DS mode with the larger screen on the top and the bottom touch screen on the bottom. And the virtual controls will adjust automatically based around the orientation of the device you're holding. Experiment with both to get a feel for which way you prefer to play your 3DS emulation on your Android device. And you can also opt for a full screen widescreen experience using the top display through the settings icon from the interface main menu. But 3DS emulation isn't the only trick that Android has up its sleeve. Check out this video shown on screen and desktop and linked in the pinned comment and description below for more ways to enjoy emulation on your Android device.